Representative Clampett, would you like to vote? Then press the button, please, sir. Prompted by Speaker Tim Moore, Republicans override the governor's veto on pistol permits without debate in less than four minutes. I want to apologize on behalf of this body for you seeing what you just saw. Democratic leader Robert Reeves responds by telling school kids in the gallery he's sorry they didn't get a chance to see a deliberative body that normally recognizes all views. And that breaks my heart. Republicans responded saying there's nothing more to discuss. That we've already talked about this bill over and over and over again for from literally hours about this bill, so we did not have to go through that again. Republicans are only one vote short of a supermajority in the House, but it didn't matter today. Three Democrats were absent from the vote, among them Guilford County Cecil Brockman. When asked about his absence, Representative Brockman texted me, quote, I'm still at urgent care. I will have no other comment on the record about the recent veto override. I can't explain my colleagues uh, not willing to be there to vote to uphold the governor's veto. It's the first time Republicans were able to override a veto by the governor since 2018. It, it, it was a bad day. It was a bad day. Bad day for democracy, bad day for gun safety. The pistol permit requirement officially ends today. Alamance County Sheriff Terry Johnson issues a news release informing the public there's no refund on the $5 fee for those already in the process of seeking a permit. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.